Okay, I was able to find the extended version of this movie as requested. And everywhere I went to check how much it was to rent it, they all kept pushing the fact like it was directed by John Favreau, which I didn't know. I mean, I love the two Iron Man movies, the Jungle Book remake, the Mandalorian. You know, the man knows how to do action movies. And this is a Western. Things like that weren't around. Those, that thing on his wrist. Did an alien put that on there? Got iron on his wrist. Might be worth bounty money. Not your lucky day, stranger. Yeah, you don't pull up with scalps on your horse and, and you're a, a, a decent guy. Oh, shit. I mean, they had no reason to press him. I can understand if they recognize him from a post or something. Sam Rockwell, Olivia Wilde, Paul Dano, isn't that from There Will Be Blood, right? Oh man, executive produced by Steven Spielberg. Yeah, it's probably gonna lean more into the action. Ron Howard and Brian Grazer produced it? Dude. We don't even have a plot or a direction or a, a name, nothing. There's gotta be a doctor in town somewhere. I think the guy said that was a bullet wound too. Turn Clancy around. Brown? Nice and slow. I've been shot. This man is in Lost and Daredevil. Two shows I'm watching. You got a name, friend? I don't know that either. It's your place? Six days a week it is. Well, you ran into the right place because anyone else in the Wild West might have blown you away. That's a right odd looking wound there. Looks almost cauterized. <laughs> Someone burned him after he shot. they shot him? Or, or was it with like a, a laser blaster? The hell? Oh, yeah. to tie off the stitch, probably. Yeah, sure. Oh! If it wasn't for my pa's cattle, there'd be no money going through this town. No meat on your tables! He's reckless and entitled? Hell no. Come here, let's settle up. Is that Anna de Armas? Maybe it's her sister. Huh? Ah! Yeah, oh, yeah, he said he meant no disrespect. Now who's got money? In the hat. Okay, if, if he's doing this, his dad must be as big a scumbag as he is. You want to watch where you point that thing before you get hurt. <laughs> oh, shit. He doesn't remember shit, but he still remembers he's a badass, apparently. I'm warning you. Oh, damn. I gotta lock you up. Taggart, you know that's not a good idea. You can't even lock him up. Shot somebody. You sure do flap your gums a lot when the boss ain't around. Good God, all right. Money makes you soft. Oh, shit. People used to shit in the river? Oh, that must have saved his life. Well, he's not the richest guy now. All his cattle are dead. It was an accident. It's not like I'm Jesse James, Sheriff. Oh, shit, there was a bounty on him. John Favreau was the picture behind him. Why don't you be with somebody who can protect you? I can't even protect myself. I love you. I'm not a child. I understand you're upset and frustrated and you got embarrassed and shit like that. Don't take it out on your lady, though, who's clearly there to support you, talking about this is your dream and she's a part of it. Then you got Olivia Wilde sitting in the window in her pajamas. What do you want? I know you're looking for something. So am I. Well, good luck to you. She knows you lost your memory and all that. She's not being up front. She's being so secretive. And I don't know. Well, I'm going to need you to come with us. I mean, he had a thousand dollar bounty on him. He's clearly dangerous. <laughs> oh, sh <laughs> see, I knew not to trust this chick. You thought that cheap shot from Pecker hurt, huh? <laughs> Colonel Dollar, huh? You don't maybe know who you're dealing with. Oh, of course, it's Harrison Ford. This bright lies. So He's a businessman. He's not gonna believe in aliens and shit. This is excessive, though. Where's person? Taggart locked him up. <laughs> thank you. Don't say thank you. Everybody saddle up. At least he didn't kill him. Assault, mayhem, hijacking. Did you robbed the stage last month. Damn, look at all those charges. Very dark movie. Not dark in terms of like the themes. But I had no choice. I couldn't let you leave. Oh, well, I'm leaving now. I need you. You got something to say? Say it. Right. All this mystery shit. You get back home. Go to bed. All right. What the hell Please are you doing out here? Your mom's buried here. You know, I can't leave my little girl. Oh, it's his grandpa. 
<laughs> that makes sense. Aw, oh, damn. When it's a posse like this. I knew you'd come for me, Pa. <laughs> Y'all see a spaceship or something? I mean, between E.T. and Close Encounters, Steven Spielberg knows how to do aliens, man. Oh my god. I mean, we knew these aliens weren't chill after what they did to the cows. Oh, shit. Oh. Why are they only taking the women? <laughs> they taking everybody. Okay. So that's a utility bracelet. No way. The thing is, did they put that on him intentionally and release him? Why does why does he have that? Hey, those are the things that killed his cows. He's got a beef to pick with them. Is my wife in there? No! Is it dead? <laughs> You're telling me a bunch of demons took my uh, wife? People get 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 it. I don't know how much they believed in the aliens and like how much that was a thing in the Wild West too. You never really hear about them. You know, you hear about ghost stories and like legends and stuff like that, but not aliens. All right, you would have chalked it up to demons before you did that in the Wild West. What the fuck? I need that weapon. It's the only thing that counts. I don't see it that way. <laughs> Ask nicely. In all the names I saw in the intro, we still haven't seen yet. Walter Goggins, Abigail Spencer. I can help you. Some of these boys think they might already all be dead. One of them dead, they'd be dead. Good logic. Hey, he's going too. Everybody's going. He's taking the horse too. He ain't got nobody. Oh yeah, his the sheriff was his grandpa. True, true. It's all the same. I'd like to ride along too. Yes, ma'am. Got a kid and a dog. Why not a woman? <laughs> You're back. Doesn't seem like a prostitute to me. That's blood money. That's gonna get us what we need. What the hell? <laughs> it melted the gold. <laughs> the hell why are y'all showing us these clips show me what happened where did they go what happened to them best to eat them it's me i'd start with your wife i just sing a song or something or tell him to go f himself look who's back or i could just shoot you in the chest cut that thing off your arm i don't know much about boats but i'd say that one's upside down that's what that is a boat you ever shot one of these no no time like the present. It's heavy. It's a heavy gun, yeah. I mean, the preacher in the dock running along with the posse, I've seen that in so many movies, and unfortunately, it usually does not end well for at least one of them. We need to be five miles in the opposite direction of those things. The old man would shoot us himself. I don't know. They might not go through with this. They might change their mind halfway through. I waited around today and teed him for him to tell me what to do. I lost 328 men over a cornfield. Oh, so he's a literal colonel, I think. I'd listen when you tell them to Percy. They were for my son. Get out of here. You look after that. Don't lose it. They both want to smile. Don't yank them. It's not your pecker. <laughs> you don't expect the Lord to do everything for you, do you, Doc? Now keep your eye on the target. Not even like a belief in God. Like, it's, you better, you gotta have faith in general for this particular situation. You know who you are. You just have to remember. They're coming. <laughs> Oh, snap. I gotta see what this thing looks like. Oh my God, I can't believe we're halfway through the movie. This is going way too fast. Dog, what are you doing? Oh, no. Damn. Okay, that's a demon. The preacher was right. It's like a chameleon. Harrison Ford, where are you? Get away from that boy. Oh no! Every time, man! Are we gonna say some words over? Ain't it enough we took the time to put him there? No, it's not enough. Right, I mean, he's the priest too. Dust to dust, amen. How's that? Good words. 
<laughs> Good enough. This one settler fella crawling out of a burning cabin, he said, kill me. I took this knife off his belt and I slit his throat. Damn! So are they gonna run into, what do they say, Apache? Because he said this used to be Mexico. This is what they call a hold up? Of course, Walter Goggins is the dude that's holding people Boss? up. Boss? I never thought I'd see you again, Jake. <laughs> Shut up. Uh, Jake. Damn. Lundrick is back. Yeah, I can't trust Walter Goggins just off his reputation in other movies. He always plays some sneaky guy. But hey, I mean, he could he could have a different tone here. Grab your guns. We're riding out. Boys aren't going anywhere with you, Jake. We'll fix them to rob us a coach. I mean, what, what's going to change their minds? Maybe that thing on your wrist. Am I who? The who. Jake quit this gang for hold her a whore again. It'll be the last word you ever say. Those aliens got to pull up and wipe some of them out. <laughs> She just left out the part about taking all of our gold. There you go. You took the gold, man. That's on you. Yeah, you deserve to get your ass beat then. Kill the whore. Hell yeah. Fuck this guy. You'll always be my favorite. No, no. What the hell? Now that you, oh, the aliens are going to pull up, you guys are cannon fodder for the movie. Yep. <laughs> Oh yeah, they're pulling everybody up. Ah, good shit. No way. <laughs> Turn your head. So can these things swim? There's another question. How do they do with water? Oh my god! Where's the doctor at? I mean, he did ride a ways away from everyone else. They might have got broken up. Oh man, she might be done. Look at her. She pale. Damn. Oh my god. People getting wiped out left and right. The extended edition was 15 minutes longer than the theatrical version. 15 minutes is a lot of time, and I can't see any of this being left out. Every scene is kind of important. He's yeah. saying we rot the monsters. Kill us now! What the hell? What? What? Who are you? I'm from a different place. I took this form so I could walk among you. What the fuck? Can we just listen to the woman tell her story? What are they doing here? They want gold. That's why they melted. If we let them leave, they'll come back with more and there will be no survivors. That's what they did to my people. Oh, she's highly advanced. Guy, I can't remember anything. Is it good? Lee. He yeah, says nice. they will take care of that. What? I was gonna have him hit the peace pipe. Oh, yeah, because he was taken. Just gotta remember where they took you. Okay. Oh my god. Oh, she's gone. Oh, she's gone. Oh, okay, that's what that is. Now we got more people on the team. We know where they're at. I'm assuming he's going to end up with the alien, Olivia Wilde, since he realizes his wife is dead. So there is gold here. They don't see well in daylight. They stay underground in caverns where it's dark. That's why they kept attacking at night. They underestimate you. You're like insects to them. They're not planning on defending themselves, so they'll be vulnerable. Why didn't they harm the kid, though? Jake's leaving. Quit stalling how much gold we had left. Oh, no way. He's going to use... I knew we weren't done with Walter Goggins. Some of that gold's mine fair. I'm gonna need every little bit of it as far away from here as I can. Exactly. F*** this outfit. We're going as far away as we can go. You, you wanna come with us? Don't make no difference. It's not far enough. They're planning to take over the world. They're gonna kill everyone. Follow me one last time. Why the hell would we do that? The reason you always have, bull. I'll make you rich. Okay, well, I guess everyone's coming along then. What's he saying? They need to open their hearts and see in you what he has seen. I think.
You gave him purpose, even though you were not blood. And that you're a fierce warrior, worthy of any fight. I don't think I've seen him kill anybody yet in this. Oh yeah, they've been harvesting gold. These aliens, let's take them out and then take their gold. Hell yeah, that's gonna make any Wild West outfit put all the differences aside. Hot damn. That's that, we're about to go into battle dance. <laughs> you gotta be. <laughs> He's like, I don't know this song. My wife, you know, she's a Mexicano. Ah, si, Mexicano. Si, si, si. Que bien. <laughs> KBN. <laughs> Making out with an alien? <laughs> I mean, the alien looks like Olivia Wilde, so just don't leave that form. If you look anything like them, this ain't gonna work. smoking while he's doing this and you got dynamite i don't know what we're gonna do scary ass <laughs> i mean I, I i'm not saying i wouldn't be scared either i'm just saying you drop all the matches oh damn good sh there are people are in there god speak <laughs> oh sh these things are incredibly lethal. Know how to kill and quick. Who knows how many planets have fallen to these guys? I need to be on the rocks. Everyone on the ground level, it looks like they're, they ain't gonna make it. Oh my! Oh no! Haha, <laughs> okay, Doc. Doc Holiday. I always dreamed of having a son like you. Get Percy. Go get your son. Even though I wish I was, well, maybe not wish, but I felt like a son to you. Look at him, he had a smile on his face, dying for him. Oh yeah, they said they're learning their weaknesses. They're probably absorbing all of their thoughts, memories. Don't look into the light. I mean, that works too. How long are they gonna be like this? Each one's different. It's time to start using that cannon on your wrist. You can't turn the setting up on that cannon? Good aim. Ah! He stabbed dynamite to it. That's funny as shit. Ah! Oh. oh my god. <laughs> oh shit. Stab it. It looks like it's his heart. Ah! There we go. It exposed its heart to you. Come on, kid. The bracelet, you can control it with your mind. You have to stop thinking. This isn't working. Really? Are you serious? If I can get it to its core, I can stop them. Let's go. I mean, him running around with that bracelet was kind of like he's a superhero in the midst of all this. Really our best hope against them. And without it, it's like, I don't know. <laughs> Goodbye, Jake. What? Goodbye. What? Yellow! That's what she meant by I'm not gonna be here for long. Oh. <laughs> Is he gonna <laughs> He jousted? Oh man. Gave it to gold teeth? They were not fucking around. They need every last gram. Oh, oh, Tim. Oh. Oh, wait, that's when he cut. Oh, shit. Oh, man. Oh. He picked that up fast as hell. 
An unfortunate smelting accident <laughs> to quote gold member. All right, we got to see this thing blow up in the sky. All right, that's the way to go. If all humanity was wiped out and I was the last human and I had a chance to do what she was doing on another planet with other species, and there's a possibility you might survive it and come back, hell yeah, I'm doing it. <laughs> You're all growing up. Oh, nice. <laughs> I say it's like Daniel Craig. It took him a while, but he came back. You remember me? Oh, she remembered right away. That's love for your ass. Damn, and there's still the hole in the roof from when they took the gold and snatched her. What's up with the hummingbird? What's that mean? A, a drink from me and my friend here. Any a little young? Well, after what he's been through, Doc? Right. Next round's on the dollar high. <laughs> Was gold gonna make things different? I have a railroad in here. Oh, they got the gold. <laughs> John, Woodrow, here's our town's about to get a whole lot bigger. Hell yeah. It's kind of exciting though. Oh, Jake Lonergan died in those caves, didn't you, Sheriff? Damn shame. I was looking forward to hanging him myself. <laughs> She's in a better place. Why not just stick around though? Let's... I'll see you around, Kyle. No way, that's how it ends? No way, that's how it ends. She's really gone? Damn, I thought she was gonna come back. Okay, there's gotta be a post credit scene, please. No, she's really gone. Wow. The movie was rated PG-13. That was, I like when PG-13 movies push it to the point where I don't, I, it, well, I don't know if it's rated R. Even after watching it, it could have maybe been rated R. The only thing they didn't really have was cursing, and that's really what pushed itself over the... Because it was blood and death and a lot of loss. It did have a message of unity in it. You know, everyone came together. Stuff was patched up. Even as a weak and really almost non-existent character in the movie, he still had a presence. And if I had one gripe about the movie, it's just I wish there would have been more of him. <laughs> and even Clancy Brown, but you know, some people gotta die, some people gotta be captured. Who is Abigail Spencer? Isn't that oh maybe that was his wife? I thought that was the the young girl from Little Miss Sunshine. Everybody wants Daniel Craig. He was wanted, stole the people's gold. The aliens wanted him because he took their bracelet. He was literally wanted, even intergalactically. Aliens in Steven Spielberg movies are usually chill. They they weren't this time. Definitely fast paced. A long, that's usually how John Favreau movies are. Fast paced in terms of the, the dialogue, uh, the locations moving from place to place, and even just the sheer amount of deaths. You know, people kept dying every 15 minutes. Again, back to the unity thing. I do like that that was needed because they wouldn't have beat any of the aliens without them. These factions historically don't get along with each other. An outfit of outlaws, which I think Daniel Craig was before he got captured. Sheriff, the doc, Apache, the dollar hides, you know, guy that's just about the money. Even an alien, a rogue alien teamed up with us. And she was needed to win. It was definitely unexpected. We weren't supposed to get out of this alive. And the pivot from the characters we got at the beginning, you know, Paul Dano and, and the dollar hides, Harrison Ford. I had the feeling they were maybe going to be making this harder than it had to be. But 20 minutes into the movie, we were all linked up. And despite his aggressiveness and the things he was saying like about the apache he had an apache running with him the guy that said what happened to his cattle at the beginning of the movie he didn't kill him he just had him dragged off because you know the if the movie ended the way if they planned on the movie ending the way it was and we saw harrison ford as one of the good guys he couldn't just be killing and slaughtering people it, it wouldn't work but daniel craig man gutsy even without the bracelet we saw that when it came off of him when she said just think actually no oh yeah because then the thing captured him and was gonna kill him and then harrison ford saved him but yeah he's i mean he was the leader of a, a gang of bandits so it fell on the right guy let's just say that that wrist rocket i wonder what was left out of the theatrical version there's some scenes i could guess maybe weren't in it but not 15 minutes worth this would have been a cool game like a red dead redemption which is a western game if you don't know one of the greatest games ever made and I mean, he had a aim, like a reticule on his blaster too. Definitely seems like something that would have been like a, a, a downloadable content or just like a bonus 
extra for a video game cowboys versus aliens i did refer to most of the actors as their real names not their names in the movie it's just hard for me to keep track especially when there's this many stars in it wild wild west meets independence day and i mean that in the most endearing way possible i grew up on both those movies and i, I love them both this just shows john favreau when it comes to action movies he's the guy you want to call red dwarf i know it took a while for me to record and and get this out you know so much backlog and stuff but your recommendations don't miss